I am really excited because this weekend I am exploring the central coast of Oregon. I have decided to make Florence my home base and so the first thing to do is find a place to stay while I am here. I decided on the best Western Pier Point Inn. The hotel has a lovely location, right on the river and facing the old town of Florence. The rooms are luxurious. The beds are my favorite, the pillows, and my balcony had views of the bridge, the river, the entire downtown, and surrounding forests. I allowed myself some time to relax before setting off. Florence is near the Oregon Dunes recreation area. There are so many ways to get out and explore the Oregon Dunes. There are miles of bike trails and hiking possibilities are endless. I met up with a group of kayakers and set off for a paddle out of Siltkoos Lake towards the ocean. The inland lakes around Florence are also great for fishing. This is just a beautiful Saturday morning on the Oregon coast on the Siltkoos River. So here's how it went today. We put in on the Siltkoos Lake, which is an inland lake close to the ocean. We came down the Siltkoos River, an official uh, kayak and canoe trail. We came through mature conifers. We then came into deep sand dunes and we found huge bolete mushrooms on the sand dunes. And then around the corner into the estuary, which is where the fresh water meets the salt water. And the life changes there in the estuary. And now, we're at the ocean. We're right at the ocean. We're exactly where the Siltkoos River goes into the Pacific Ocean, right here. You can see it. My dog and I just walked along the ocean for a while, found shells, watched uh, harbor seals frolicking in the surf. There's big pelicans on the other side feeding, and a whole bunch of happy kayakers. If you ever have the chance to kayak on the Siltkoos, do it. I wanted to end my day by hiking to the top of one of the tallest dunes on the coast. We are standing on the edge of the Oregon dunes and I have no idea what to expect when I get up to the top of this sand dune, which is the highest sand dune in this area. And I just can't wait to see. After a full and active day, I had worked up quite the appetite. I'm tired and I want to stop biking, kayaking, and hiking. A great new addition to the Pier Point Inn is the Bay View Bistro. This restaurant has the same great views as the hotel, and I was soon to find out some amazing food. Hi, my name is Joel Barabas, and welcome to Bay View Bistro in Florence, Oregon. Today we'll be making a cipino, our version. And the name comes from uh, basically a bunch of immigrant uh, fishermen and the dogs get together and uh, make a lunch for themselves. Basically, chipping in whatever they had. Hence the, hence the name Chipino. Our version has uh, prawns, cod, clams, mussels, and some uh, dungeness crab. Line. And like most chipinos, ours is a tomato based also. And save the best for last. Uh, dungeon is good. The sweet and the fat. Here you go, this is the chipino baby bistro for and style. Bon Very so if you don't want to leave the Best Western Pier Point Inn right here in Florence, um, they actually have a restaurant on site. It's the Bayview Restaurant. This looks wonderful. Mm. After dinner, I was ready for a swim. The pool area also has a view of the river and town along with the two jacuzzis and sauna. Perfect after a day of kayaking. It was so peaceful waking up on the river. You know, they already had a fabulous breakfast here at the Pier Point Inn, uh, but now they've added an omelet bar. The Pier Point Inn has recently added an omelet station to its full breakfast of waffles, meats, and biscuits and gravy, and fresh fruit. 
Today, I set off to explore Old Town. Just a short walk over the bridge, Florence is full of shopping and dining. I spent the next few hours wandering the riverfront shops. After a great coastal lunch of clam chowder and fish and chips, I wanted to visit the sea lion caves just north of town. I'm looking at Hasita Lighthouse here on the Central Oregon coast, just north of Florence. We are at the sea lion caves, and there are hundreds of sea lions down in the largest sea cave in the world, and in order to go down and see them, you have to actually get into an elevator and go 21 stories under the ground. My coastal getaway was ending too soon. The Pier Point Inn turned out to be a wonderful place to stay while visiting the Central Oregon coast. They even have a conference room for events that overlooks the river. I didn't want to leave, but it was time to move on to my next big adventure on the Oregon coast.